We are absolutely committed to our British farmers, and that is why. We've committed £5 billion to the farming budget over the next two years. That's the largest ever amount for sustainable food production in the UK. And it's alongside £60 million, Mr Speaker, to support those affected by extreme wet weather and over £200 million to tackle disease outbreaks. His party couldn't even get the money out the door for farmers, failing to spend over £300 million on farming budgets. The farmers know they ruined it for them, and that's why we're in government and they're not. Well, perhaps the right honourable lady thinks that everyone came to London yesterday to thank the government. <laughs> Let's look at the facts. A typical mid-sized 360-acre family farm in the constituency of my right honourable friend for Thirsk and Morton. They've uh, spoken to their accountant. Their new liability because of this government is half a million pounds. That's 12 years' worth of profit. When this generation passes away, that farm will become totally unviable, and it's just one of thousands and thousands of similar farms. It's clear the government hasn't got its facts right. The Central Association for Agricultural Valuers, the real experts in this field, say so. The NFU says so. They're shortly to publish a report showing that 75% of all commercial farms will fall above the threshold. If the government isn't... If the government isn't going to reverse this terrible policy, will the right honourable lady at least commit that there will be no further increases to inheritance tax and no further reductions to agricultural property relief or business property relief in this parliament? Yeah. 